It started with an earthquake that hit New Jersey and was felt in New York, but it didn't just stop there. Centered right around Hasbrook Heights, Rana. Uh, it happened just before 1020 this. What was that? But a little bit before that happened, something was announced that was happening inside the United States and it was spreading towards New York. This came from the Appalachian Mountains. And what we're gonna show you on screen here is a map that is showing how far this massive blob is stretching. It's hundreds of kilometers wide. It's from Earth scope and it's deeper than 75 kilometers. And you can see on the west side here, that is where Yellowstone's magma activity is. So this is magma activity on the other side. So what you want to understand, people are going to ask, well, where is this going? How many states of the stretch? We're going to get to all that information. This thing is about 250 miles wide. And so live science dropped some footage here. We're going to just the maps. We're going to show you that right now where it stretched from. Look on screen right here. First, it came from Greenland. If you're looking right here on the map, the Greenland North American Rift Zone is where it first came. And they said this has been happening for a while now. And then it slid down in toward the Northern Appalachian Anomaly. And if you look on screen here, you can see where it says CAA, which is the Central Appalachian Anomaly and NAA is the Northern, Northern Appalachian Anomaly. Now, when the earthquake struck, here's the interesting details here. When the earthquake struck, it was right over here next to a zone where a fault line was at. So this fault line was called Rampo or Ramapo Fault Line. So this was it struck a little bit east of it, though. It didn't strike right there on the fault line, but it was right next to it. And here's what people don't get is along all these zones where we're just mentioning this is happening at. It's not just that fault. It's Hopewell fault. And it's another fault right there that intersects. But Yellowstone is another situation here. If you look right here, you can see that close along these areas, we do have some Yellowstone hotspots. So I got a lot more information for you to watch out for. You need to subscribe right now because we're also seeing them do new surveys quietly on the Cascadia subduction zone. And I'm going to get you to all that. So what's happening? This is magma uh, under New York that is coming in from the Appalachians here at the National Park Service. You can see how far that the Appalachian Mountains stretch. The problem is it's intersecting with a lot of other fault lines. And so what's happening here is this magma below the East Coast is now challenging what scientists and geologists believed in the first place. They didn't even think that this would be a thing. But let's read this. Rumpo Fault System is a network of faults primarily in northern New Jersey and southeastern New York, extending to Pennsylvania. It is known as one of the oldest fault systems in the northeastern U.S. and is associated with past and recent earthquake activity. So we're going to give you some of the things that you need to be looking for over the next days, weeks, and months. So yes, magma activity is definitely increasing and is on the move. Now, looking at this map, we're going to take you to another one right here. And this one is from EarthScope once again. And we're going to show you, look at this on the map. So what the hot blot represents, and you can see the thermal areas like EarthScope has showed you, the lower seismic velocity zones, which is hotter, weaker, partially molten or thermally altered crust, high heat flow, tectonic instability. We're looking at lower density, hot material can soften the crust, reducing its ability to absorb tectonic stress. How could this affect New York and the neighboring regions? We're telling you that right now. New York, New Jersey, PA lie on faulted Precambrian basement rock where older faults can be reactivated to thermal shifts. USGS notes that the intraplate zones like the eastern U.S. can experience rare but damaging quakes. 
presence of heat anomalies can activate ancient fault systems, especially along the Rumpo uh, Fault, New Jersey, New York, or Western Quebec seismic zone, which you're seeing like all on the screen here right now. And the question is here, why did just recently we get this information here? And that's the question. What do you think in the comment section? So will extinct volcanoes on East Coast and U.S. erupt again? There's the geologists are saying no. But when we read a little bit more later, we'll give you what they have been saying. While New York is not known for active volcanoes, geologist studies have revealed a large blob of hot molten rock magma beneath the northeastern United States, including parts of New England and potentially extending under western New York. The magma is not currently erupting, it's not considered a typical volcano uh, in the way Yellowstone is, but its presence challenges existing geological models. So this tells us right now that we need to really be on watch just to be aware of these situations here at hand. Now, moving on into this situation here, right here, this is what you need to know because the zones that you're in currently, we're gonna give you all the information on that, these thermal situations that you need to be looking at. So write it down, take a picture, whatever you need to do. The NAA is the Northern Appalachian Anomaly Area shown on the map centered in the Northeastern United States around Eastern New York, Western Massachusetts and Southern Vermont extending slightly into southern Quebec uh, in New Hampshire. So once again, we're putting this right here because that's where CAA is, right close to the fault. And you see NAA, which is Northern Appalachian Anomaly. And this is where the heat blobs have moved in. The thermal movement is happening. Now, I want to take you into something else that's happened that nobody's really been telling you about. NOAA Incident Take Authorization Scripts Institution Oceanographic Geophysical Surveys in the Cascadia Subduction Zone. Nobody really knew that they did this survey. This survey was done on 7-21-2025. So this was under like a week ago where they went out there and they surveyed. They said it was for the humpback whales that's been disappearing and everything like that. However, this was an unusual mortality event where along the West Coast, a lot of these wells were their population of migration was plummeting. No official data has come out on why. A lot of people think it's because of frequency, sound, uh, toxicity in the ocean, but they have not come out. However, they're surveilling the subduction zone where we just had the 4.3 earthquake hit in California. And you can see right here on the map, with the nautical lines between the USA and a reawakening fault just came back up over here on Time Magazine. We was talking about that just a day ago. So North Pacific Ocean NOAA Fisheries is requesting comments on this proposal to issue an incident harassment authorization. Incidentally, take marine mammals during the specified activities. NOAA Fisheries is requesting comments on possible one-time, one-year renewal could be issued under certain circumstances. And if all requirements are met as described, request for public comments and end of this notice, NOAA Fisheries will consider public comments prior to making any final decision on the issuance requested by MMPA authorization and agency responses will be summarized in the final notice of our decision. So we have not got a notice about any situations yet. This is why this is a situation currently ongoing uh, as beneath the United States, uh, the flowing magma is happening. There's not any eruptions happening at all. This is just highlighting what scientists know is moving below the United States as we speak here. Uh, the intersection of this though, like we said, is the biggest problem that right now we're looking at. And uh, over the next course of weeks, this is gonna be monitoring activities. Stay subscribed, stay tuned. Uh, but we got even more information that all the these current regions as we speak right now that you look at on screen, you can see how more areas even go into Florida down there where you see the thermal activity there looks like it's a little bit red. This is from Earth Scope. Most of all the blue areas over there you see is kind of Midwest United States. And we still do have a fault line crack there, which we have some people. Uh, still going to be getting with us on those situations here. Now, the big thing that I was doing, and I was putting this out the other day, this was highly critical report, 
because it was a giant ripple wave that opened in California uh, and Yellowstone magma shifted. So again, you have to click that on the other side of the channel here because that's going to be highly important. Do not let that be hidden. But the biggest thing that people have issues with, they don't disappear from mainly the catastrophe, they mainly disappear because communicable diseases and outbreaks start to happen more after the follow-up situations. So that's why through my research over the last eight plus years, the JWTV Natural Herbal Guide, what we have is the BioShield. We created two eBooks for two multiple scenarios so you have in a back pocket. And what we have is a 40% off deal if you get both of those in your cart, if you haven't bought both of them. But if you just get one of them, it's just a $15 deal that's going on. So you can look in the live chat and you can get that right now, right away. We cover all the different stuff for multiple events coming. We've looked at what potentially could come through the Agenda 2030. And we've dived deep into the Native American remedies and got a lot of stuff together, uh, as well as looking at the parasitic versions of what happens from me being a Hurricane Katrina and experience the parasitic affection understanding how things actually go so we put together a comprehensive little detailed plan for your emergency back pocket that will be in the comment section after the video is over but don't forget to watch the last video that is highly crucial to this report give us comments on what's going on in your area drop it if you're in new york you're in new jersey you're on the west coast is, is there some ground bubbling going on some heating happening we need to know from you because the eyewitness is getting us information in is you. You're the big picture to the story here, and I appreciate every last one of you.